Welcome back to the channel. Today is another video for the free Vital Synthesizer. I'm going to be showing you how to import and export Vital Bank files, which is the most popular way of sharing sound packs or preset packs for Vital. I'll be showing this for Windows and Mac, and I'll also be showing you how to install presets if you don't have a .vital bank file and you just have an individual preset or a folder full of presets. So this should be quite a quick one. Let's get right into it. We'll start with the most simple method, which is installing a .vital bank file. We'll do this on Windows, then Mac. So I like to use Vital in standalone mode when I'm installing presets, but you can just open up your DAW and run it in there. First thing we need to do is actually get the presets. So in my downloads folder, I have a preset pack here. Now it's zipped because that's how the download came. So I'm just going to extract it and I'm going to make sure that I have in that folder a dot vital bank file. Now yours will have a different name unless you've got my sound bank. It will say something and then dot vital bank file. Now with vital open, find this icon here and select import bank. Now we just have to go to wherever we've got our vital bank. In my case, it was in my downloads folder. This is the unzipped folder and I'm just selecting the dot vital bank file. There's no confirmation that they've been installed, but if you just go back up to that icon, select browse presets, you should see all of the presets here. And if you go down to this little sort of finder box here, you can see the different folders you have and the name of the sound pack that you've installed should be right there. If you right click on any of these presets, you can actually open the file location and this shows you where the presets have been installed on the computer. So you can see in this case, it's documents, vital, and the whole pack has actually been installed into this vital folder, which means you don't need to keep the original downloaded file here. I could delete these and uh, all these presets would still work. Vital's no longer looking at these folders. However, it's probably a good idea to take your original zipped folder and save it somewhere as a backup in case your computer crashes and you need to install them in the future. So that's how to import the uh, banks on Windows. Let's quickly do the same thing on Mac. I have Vital open. Again, I'm using it in standalone mode. I have downloaded the zip file. So I'm just going to extract that with a double click. And I'm just going to open that folder to double check that I do indeed have a .vital bank file. So with that checked, I'm going to open up Vital again. And just like on Windows, go to this menu, select import bank, find wherever it is. In this case, I had it on my desktop select the one with the dot vital bank. Again, there's no confirmation, but if I go to browse presets, if I select the name of the folder, which was in the mix vital sounds, again, they've all been added. And just like on windows, you can right click or double click, select open file location, and it will show you in the finder where all of these presets have been added. So onto the next part of the video, let's suppose you don't have a dot vital bank file, but you just have a zipped or regular folder full of presets and you want to install them. So in this case, I just have a regular zipped folder here. And if I take a look in there, there's just loads of presets. There's quite a quick little sort of cheat you can do. And that is to just change the file extension from .zip to .vitalbank. Enter, it will give you a warning. Just by changing the file extension, we can install it just like I showed in part one of this video. However, if you're a Windows user, you cannot just change the file extension. You have to go first into File Explorer Options. Then you have to go to View and make sure that this box is unchecked. Hide extensions for known file types. If that's checked, you can't change the file extensions. If it's unchecked, you can. So hit Apply, then OK and you'll be able to change uh, from a .zip to a .vitalbank, just like that. And if I just very quickly go over to Mac, this is even easier. It's just a right click, rename, and you can just right away change from .zip to .vitalbank, and it's just as simple as that. It does give you a little warning, and then you can see even the icon or the logo shows up, and that is ready to be installed just like a traditional regular Vitalbank file. So we've looked at .vitalbank and .zip files, but let's just say you have a couple of presets that you just want to install. You don't want to use a Vitalbank file. So wherever you've downloaded these presets to, whether it's just a single preset like this or a couple, just simply copy them. And then in Vital, go to the menu again, browse presets. And I would probably suggest going to your user folder, open file location, presets, and simply paste them in here. 
So you see those three presets have been added. They're not currently in Vital. I just need to close this and open up Vital again. Now, if I go back to Browse Presets, go to my user folder, you can see that those three presets are there. And this process is exactly the same on Mac. So I'm not going to sort of repeat the same thing over and over again and bore anyone. Something I do want to say though is in your user folder, if I open the file location, inside this presets folder, you can make more folders. So let's just say all of these were synths, you know, none of them are drums, they're all synths. So I'm going to select all of them, move them into a synths folder. Now, if I reload vital again, so I'm just closing it down, opening it up, browse presets, user, if I press this uh, folder button again, you can see I have a subfolder of synths and you can create as many folders as you like. And onto the last part of the video, which is saving presets and banks. So the easiest way to save a preset after you've you know, adjusted things is to just press this button up here, give it a name, give it an author, give it a style, and then press save. Now, if I go into browse presets in my user folder, which is right at the bottom, my preset will be there. From here, if you want to export your own vital bank, whether you're making a sound bank or you just want to share some presets with a friend, this time press export bank and all of your own presets will show up here. So you just select the presets that you want, give your bank a name, let's say my presets, that's not a very good name, export the bank. You can then share that .vital bank file and anyone else can use those presets. The last thing I need to show very quickly is just exporting a single preset. Sometimes you've worked on something cool, you just want to send it to a friend or a collaborator. This is instead of pressing the save preset, go to the menu and select export preset. So in this case, if I were to just save this, say to my desktop and call it preset, if I press save, you can see that this preset file is now on my desktop. If I send that to a friend, they can then press the menu select open external preset, they can select that file, press save, and it will be saved into their own user folder. But by far the easiest way to do it is to just use the .vital bank extension. It sort of prevents anything going wrong and it installs them all automatically and instantly. So that's everything for this video. I do hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave them in the comment section down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.